I'm Zach with Neurocom. Thanks for watching. This is the first in a series of videos that we're making testing the capabilities of Wi Fi Halo in the real world. Hope you enjoy. Halo is a new addition to the Wi Fi family designed for the needs of IoT. It extends the capabilities of Wi Fi to support new applications by delivering long range, low power consumption, and high client density. Halo uses the latest WPA3 security. It's flexible and can be optimized for the application. It's easy to deploy, low cost and interoperable because it's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi Halo has a range of up to a kilometer and a superior ability to penetrate through obstacles. This is our test location. The path that cuts across the park is 1.2 kilometers long. Will Halo go the distance? We send Josh to find out. Hi, I'm Josh from Neurocom, and uh, today we are at Great Park in Irvine, California, and we are going to test the Halo Wi Fi range. Uh, we've got a high vision camera here and a Halo bridge connected to an access point up here, and we're going to see how far it goes. See ya. Well, Josh goes for a long walk. Let me elaborate on our test plan. We test the range of standard 802.11 Wi-Fi as well as 1 and 2 MHz channel bandwidth of Halo. The Wi-Fi Halo standard supports different channel bandwidths between 1 and 16 MHz. The wider the channel, the higher the throughput, and the narrower channels offer greater range and material penetration. The priority of this test was range and not video quality, so we focused on the 1 and 2 MHz channel. Long range performance is dependent on line of sight, antenna elevation, and environmental interference. These factors can make a dramatic difference in performance. Fortunately, we can model different environments to get some idea of what to expect and to optimize placement of an access point. Much like an access point in your home, but on a different scale. After a bit of a rough start, Josh wisely chooses to take his skateboard to test the 1 MHz channels. We're able to keep a connection the entire distance, and Josh heads south around the baseball fields, and to that area that he loses connection. So how did we do? 802.11 did pretty good, reaching out to 233 meters before losing connection. Halo with 2 MHz went over four times as far, nearly one kilometer, with 580 meters for video. And Halo with one megahertz reached nearly a mile at 1.5 kilometers, but just a little bit further than two megahertz for video. So we were able to maintain a connection at nearly a kilometer and a half. And our coverage mapped our model pretty closely Josh made it back safely, and we look forward to our next opportunity to test Wi-Fi Halo.